Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We hope you're all ready to be Canadian citizens with our preparatory videos. So far, we've learned about the Canadian citizenship eligibility criteria, physical presence calculator, and how to apply online. Continuing our series of videos on Canadian citizenship application, in today's video, we will be discussing what are the necessary documents needed to apply for an adult Canadian passport and what the procedure is. If you are new to our channel, click the subscribe button, tap the bell icon, and hit the like button. Let us start the video and let us remind you to stay tuned until the end. There are two ways to apply for an adult Canadian passport, by mail or in person. If you need it in less than 25 business days, choose the in-person option to get it in time. Requirements for Adult Passport Application To apply for the Adult Canadian Passport, make sure to complete the application form PPTC-153. Get your supporting documents and two passport photos, find the guarantor, and two references. Your photos must be recent. On the back side of one of the photos, the photographer should write their name, their complete address, and the date the photo was taken to show that these are recent photos. The guarantor must also write on the back of one of the photos that I certify this to be a true likeness of your name and signature. You must also have a valid Canadian passport or travel documents if applicable, such as a refugee travel document or a certificate of identity. Original proof of Canadian citizenship is also required. It will be returned to you. If you were born in Canada, you can submit your birth certificate. If you were born outside Canada, you can provide any of the following Citizenship Certificate Certificate of Naturalization Certificate of Birth Registration of Birth Abroad or Certificate of Retention of Canadian Citizenship. One copy of your valid ID card will also be required. Valid ID includes name, date of birth, photo, and signature. It must be issued by a federal, provincial, territorial, or state government of authority or equivalent abroad. You can submit a copy of your ID. If you do so, you need to copy both sides of the document. Your guarantor must sign and date on each side of the document. You can also use a Canadian passport as your ID if it was valid for four years and more when you first got it. Either it is still valid or expired for one year or less. If your passport was issued to you before you turned 16, you need to submit another ID with it. This ID can be without photo. You cannot use your passport as an ID if it has been expired for more than a year or reported as lost or stolen. If you have changed your name or are replacing a lost, stolen, or damaged passport or omitting your birthplace or updating your gender identification, in any case, you need to provide additional documents. You can select either English or French. If any of your document is in another language, you must submit an official translation of the document. As we just shared with you, you need a guarantor and two references. But the question is, who are they and where can you find them? Well, let us tell you that it's not a big issue. Guarantors and references help you confirm your identity, sign your photos, and other documents the IRCC can contact them when needed. Your guarantor must have known you for at least two years. They must be available if Passport Canada wants to contact them. They must be a Canadian citizen, 18 years of age or older. They must hold a five-year or 10-year Canadian passport. They must complete and sign the Declaration of Guarantor section in your application form. He or she must also certify by signing and dating the two photos and photocopies of the documents provided to prove your identity. Your references must also be 18 years of age or older. They must have known you for at least two years. Your guarantors cannot be your references, not even your family members. They must include their name and contact information in your application.
How to complete the adult passport application form. Once you're done with all the requirements and necessary documents, download the adult passport application form, PPTC 153. Save it on your computer, and you can fill it out there. At the end of the form, you'll find the important instructions. Read them and understand them, as they will help you fill in the form properly. Fill out the whole application form carefully by providing all the required information. The first section of the form is all about your personal information. Enter your surname, given name, marital status, gender, address, and contact number. Put your signature in the signature box and date it. The next section is to be filled by the guarantor. They must fill it in to confirm your identity. After providing their personal and passport information, they need to provide information about their name, date of birth, passport number, address, and relationship with the applicant. They must sign in the signature box and date it. After that, the third section is about previous Canadian travel history and documents. Here, you must select if you have Canadian travel document. If you choose yes, you need to provide the original document, which will be returned to you. The fourth section is about proof of Canadian citizenship. Here, you need to share details of your birthplace. Fill out all the boxes carefully. After that, you must provide documents to support your identity. Your signature is mandatory on the signature box with the date. Next, select your validity period. Then, provide additional personal information about your address and occupation. The next section is to be filled with the references. Their name, address, contact number, and relationship with the applicant must be mentioned clearly. In the last section, the application form asks you to provide emergency contact information. This section will help the Passport Canada to ensure your safety. After completing the form, the applicant needs to pay the application fee. The application fee for a new passport is $120 for 5 years validity and $160 for 10 years validity. You can pay the application fee by certified check or money order in the exact amount payable to the Receiver General for Canada. You can even pay by debit card or prepaid card. Your fees depend on what services you're getting and how you are applying. You will not receive a refund for the service if you cancel your application. Only the consular fee, which is applicable to all adult applications, is refundable if a passport is not issued. After paying the fee, you need to submit your application. You can submit it by mail or in person. If you can submit it in person, go to Service Canada Passport Centre. They offer their services without any appointments. If you want to apply via mail, check out Section F of the application to find where to mail your application. Use a certified courier service to reduce the delivery time of your application and help protect your documents. If you apply via mail, your passport and any other original documents you submitted, such as citizenship certificate, will be returned to you by mail. If you submit it in person, the pickup date will be indicated on your receipt. You can send someone else to pick up your passport, if they have valid identification or something in writing from you saying they are allowed to. This is all about the Adult Canadian Passport Procedure. Once you get your adult passport, share your achievement with us as well. Do not forget to write to us in the comment section. Kindly let us know if this video was helpful to you. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you for watching. We will be back with other helpful content. Until then, happy learning. Thank you.